put that PTO to good use and travel across the world to New Zealand. Sarah Hanley is with Tourism New Zealand. Welcome, Sarah. So New Zealand just reopened its borders for tourists. What should travelers expect? Oh, kia ora. First of all, thank you for having me on today. Uh, and as you just mentioned, the great news is that New Zealand borders are open and then there are no travel restrictions. Uh, we know that as international travel is returning, the demand for locations where people can experience nature, open spaces and the great outdoors, along with more immersive journeys and meaningful connections are at an all time high. And New Zealand is really well positioned to deliver on this. As a people with a deep connection to nature and the environment, a rich indigenous culture and a unique perspective on the world, New Zealand can offer a truly unique and enriching experience for everybody who visits. So how long is the flight to New Zealand? Well, Mark, I'm going to bet that it's probably closer than you think. Uh, we like to say you board your flight, have dinner, watch a movie, go to sleep and wake up in New Zealand. Uh, the flight time ranges from around 13 hours for a direct flight from uh, the, east, the, the West Coast, such as Los Angeles, to 17 and a half hours with the new non-stop flying from New York City on the, on the East Coast. And New Zealand's never been easier to get to. In fact, there are seven um, cities across the U.S. that have direct flights with our partners from Air New Zealand, American, United, and Hawaiian. What are some of the top destinations, though? So when we get there, uh, I'm ready for some fun. Where do we go? Yeah, of course. No, well, there's lots of fun to be had. So when you first arrive, you land in Auckland, which is in the North Island. And I like to recommend hopping on a 40-minute ferry ride across the beautiful Waiheke Island. It's a uh, Favourite weekend getaway for locals, there's plenty of wineries to visit, beautiful beaches, and of course, amazing sunset views. Then just uh, two hours uh, out of Auckland, a uh, nice, nice drive is Rotorua. It's a great destination to experience Maori culture and geothermal activities. And then uh, you can hop on down to the South Island, to uh, Queenstown, uh, which is called the Home of Adventure. And there's plenty of options there to challenge yourself, uh, including bungee jumping, skydiving, jet boating, river rafting, and so much more. But if you're not feeling so adventurous, there's a number of great wine regions um, to discover as well. All right. So something for everybody, Sarah. So tell us a little bit more mm -hmm. about the If You Seek campaign. Great. Well, the campaign offers a sneak peek into some of the most unique travel experiences in New Zealand. And it's really an invitation for curious travelers to come on down and discover all that we have to offer. Because we believe that the true magic of New Zealand can be seen and felt by those that unplug. Uh, those that immerse, embrace, and respect our unique culture, people, and our, our natural environment. And uh, those visitors will be met with what we call Manaki Tanga, which is a deep expression of welcome, hospitality, and that reciprocal connection. We usually say that uh, the more you give to New Zealand, the more New Zealand gives to you. And that's really what the campaign is all about. Man, gorgeous shots there. Okay, so where can we go for more information? Of course, well, we've just scratched the surface today. There's so much to uh, to learn and explore. We recommend that you head on over to NewZealand.com because it's got lots of great information on the New Zealand, the destination, as well as all the experiences that you can have. All right, Sarah, thank you so much. And of course, you can head to our website for more on this, and that's firstcoastliving.net.